those who welcome to the page here on GBC News. This is where we do chit chatting. This is where we get those who matter when it comes to sports development. Julie, really tell us what is up there, Steve. And remember, we're still in the COVID 19 era. And so, what we do is to sanitize. And my guests here have sanitized already. But because I want you to know that I've been doing it, I'm sanitizing. So, make sure that you do sanitize. If you don't have a sanitizer, please get soap and running water. Wash your hands thoroughly. And then make sure that, just like I'm doing, I'm wearing my nose mask. You also do yours. And then when you're going out for something important, you put it on. And then, as usual, stay at home, just like the way the president said. Today, we're talking about developing chairs in this COVID-19 era. Yes, one of the thought-provoking sporting disciplines uh, you get um, is the sports chess. It's It's... It stretches one's imagination, pushes one's thinking abilities a bit further than the, the normal sports disciplines that we have in this country. And this has been considered as one of the contact sports. And so when the COVID-19 protocols came in, social distancing, uh, although it has grounded everything sports to a halt, one discipline that uh, has been more affected is chess. It started rapidly some years back, catching fire every school, every nook and cranny in this country. Now, you see young boys, young girls, the aged, everybody sitting down playing chess. What has happened so far to the development of this sport in this country, in this COVID-19 era? This is what we're coming to talk about. Just want to know the impact that the association is feeling and all stakeholders, how they've been able to be creative enough to make sure that uh, participants or lovers of the game still get a feel of it whilst waiting for this coronavirus pandemic to end in this country. And so I've been joined by uh, two creative leaders, hardworking as well. They never give up and uh, they are here. I have first the president of the Ghana Chess Association is Mr. Philip Ameku. To my immediate uh, left, uh, Philip uh, is doing something marvelous that later I will hint you. But Philip is in the house to really tell us some of the innovative ways uh, they are using to keep their, their members really active. And then I have uh, this gentleman who is also not sleeping when it comes to this sport because of the benefit it has had on his life. And he's the director of Street Chess, and his name is Joe Jiche. And uh, he's also here to also share the experience with us because the last time I followed them doing a Street Chess Championship, uh, I was amazed. I, I was wild because I never expected some of the boys I see every day at Jamestown Street loitering about to know how to play this this game and it was marvelous and uh, with this COVID-19 nobody goes and do such thing and the police are really watching so they don't come and arrest them. Gentlemen, thank you very much for making time to, to join us here. Uh, let's go straight to the point and first thing I always ask people when I get opportunity mm -hmm. The blow that COVID-19 unleashed in the sporting arena and everything, did it come to you? Uh, did it hit you like a TKO? Uh, did it really <laughs> tumble you? Did you fall on the canvas twice or thrice? Have you been able to really wake up to the realization that this pandemic is really here and it's causing trouble? How did you guys receive it and how are you coping with it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a tough, you know, era we are actually experiencing. I had just came back from the, the FIDI Congress in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, that um, the whole thing started in Ghana. And just around that time, we were planning to organize the National Youth Championship. It's an annual event. So all the children, all those who are playing, actually look forward to that event. You know, and it was supposed to take place at, G at GIS. So we were discussing with management and at that time, the virus was not yet in Ghana, but there were rumors. And then um, we had a meeting with the school management, and we were discussing how we we'll put in some protocols to make sure that you know the children don't you know overexpose themselves to each other, you know. But during the course of that very week, then Ghana confirmed its first case. Mm. Then I think it was about two or three cases, you know. So. We were supposed to have the event on 14th March, and then we thought and thought, and they were like, no, we should actually postpone the event. 
and see how things will go. And luckily, the following day, the President of the Republic announced that schools must be closed. So it was, it was a good decision we, we took, you know, preempting this particular issue. So we, we, we actually, it hit us very hard, you know. Not only that tournament, we, we also had the, the first edition of the Disability Challenge. We were supposed to have a tournament for disabled players. Wow. Yeah, and that also got affected. Then we were supposed to have, of course, the second league, the second season of the uh, Ghana Premier League, the, the Chess Premier League, like we call it. Yeah, so that also got affected. Then, of course, at the Africa level, we were planning to go to Lagos, Nigeria for the Africa Championships, which was supposed to take place, I think, uh, 20th to 30th May. You know, that also was postponed along the line. Then the big one itself was the World Chess Olympiad, which was supposed to take place in Russia. And we had already played qualifiers and we were looking forward to the tournament and then we heard it was cancelled. So we were all sad. I mean, it's, it's a big blow. So <laughs> here we are trying to look for, you know, innovative ways to, to keep our players active. We'll come, we'll come to uh, finding ways of keeping your players active. But for you on the streets, you decided that you do the more of the indoor. You want to really catch them. And uh, one concept I, I got from the, uh, some people who were observing from afar was that a whole lot of people have different mindsets about these young boys and girls on the streets of, uh, specifically, the Jamestown Enclave. They've been observing and uh, they feel that uh, the mindset is that, okay, there's nothing for them to do. So they are just loitering about. But through this concept of coming out there to do this street thing, uh, more people are real realizing that they can do something for themselves. So it's like a form of an empowerment. And you have been championing this. Uh, how badly has this uh, COVID been to you? your quest to get more guys off, off the streets and do something? Okay. So what happened was um, last year, mm. We we actively went into into Jamestown, mm -hmm. and we were we were we were teaching them chess. We we got the street kids, we got the regular Jamestown guys, and we we're actually teaching them chess. We we're teaching them the the skills that chess provides. We we're, equip, we're equipping them with these skills. So along the line, we broke for the first part. We broke in December to resume again. That's this year. And actually, so they, they, they have received the, the introductory skills, let me call it. So we're, we're supposed to continue um, somewhere around February this year with um, programs to prepare them. Like the president has said, there was, there was going to be some youth championships. So we wanted to get some of them ready to partake in, 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 these, kind of pro, in these kind of programs. But the COVID-19 has come to... Uh, put a hold on, on things. Mm. So unfortunately, excuse me. So unfortunately, we have not been able to go out there to to engage them. Mm. And even online, um, I don't want to jump ahead, but it's like online, there were there were some things going on. Okay, so yeah, they, they, yeah. They, they are processes. So yes, viewers, yes. Uh, we're talking chess and how it has affected and so soon you see some of the videos on your screen this is the sports we're talking about maybe uh, you might have uh, forgotten what we're talking about and the reason we're talking about this is because it is a contest sport uh, just like the way the young wrestlers will come in city and team because i'll look at you so on your screens these are uh, some young boys and girls who are playing chess so with this when when uh, you organize events like this the police will say you are you are breaking the social distance rule you, you could see it's so close, uh, should somebody sneeze right now, uh, <laughs> something might happen. And, and you see, they're they, they touching uh, the, 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 the pieces, the pieces mm. doing this. You could see it's a offensive mode, and it's, it's a game between two people. Yeah. So it's mostly enjoyed by two people. You, if you're alone and you're doing it, it's alone. So this, <laughs> this particular sport, and I'm telling you, when you go to schools now, it is one of the key disciplines that they are, they, are, they are learning at school. And so don't see it as something far. Very, very mind-engaging, and it makes these boys very, very sharp. 
I hear those who are sitting over there are Shabris. Mm -hmm. Is it true that they top almost top their class yeah. in all the subjects and they yeah. like playing chess? Yeah. So there was this debate that as for chess people, it is Shabri <laughs> people that play. <laughs> <laughs> now, now let's look at uh, uh, things you put in place mm. that uh, is trying to keep these young boys and girls mm. uh, very, very active because some of them are here feeling bad. Mm. Uh, being indoors and stuff. What, what guys, what, what are you doing? Okay. So basically, one thing about chess, and which makes it different from many other disciplines, is that there's an online version. There's a soft version of the game. Just like how we have um, draft. You know, you can play draft on the computer. Uh -huh. So basically, there's an online or there's a soft version of the game, which, you know, is being practiced hand in hand. But usually, it's more of a casual approach mm. to the game because for example if um, um maybe i'm playing a game with you over the internet you're in your house i'm in my house maybe i'm playing on my computer it could be maybe there's a grandmaster standing by me playing for me and you think it's <laughs> me playing you understand wow. uh -huh. so usually it's just for training and also for less you know formal um, events you understand so this COVID came in and then the debate started that it's, it's about time we started looking at online chess or soft chess, mm. you know, to get people very active. So once um, the directive from the president came, mm -hmm. we also issued a directive as advised by the National Sports Authority to put a, a, a hold on all chess tournaments, both our, our tournament and also the private tournament. So we basically um, send that information out. But we were very specific. We said over the board chess, OTB. So over the board chess mm -hmm. is it's what we saw on the, the, the screen. So over exactly. the board chess. So yes. I can sit right now and play exactly. chess with you. You yes. know if you allow it. <laughs> 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 and, and and I hear you are encouraging people to just desist. Don't say you are home or yeah. he's my friend or she's my friend. So yeah. come over and let's play. Yeah. I hear you are also encouraging them that don't do it. Yes. You just take the normal one and then be on the internet like exactly. you said. And just do something. Exactly. And, and how effective has that one been? Yeah, it's, it's been effective. One, because um, we've had players who usually don't participate in the over the board tournament, actually showing what they can do. Most of them, probably because of geographical distance, they're unable to come to Accra, where most of the tournaments are played. So we, we had a tournament recently, I think it was um, Street Chess yeah. tournament. And then there was this player from Ho. He, he just won the tournament. You know, wow. whilst we had our uh, strong players around, you know, he won the tournament and everybody was surprised. And so we started, you know, investigating and asking about him. We know he's a player, but we didn't know <laughs> if he, can, he, he plays can. with <laughs> us. <laughs> if he plays with us, he can do that well. You know, so a lot of talents are being discovered mm. because it's now easier to participate in tournaments. Mm. You just sit in your home, they'll, they'll post the link and then you just click on it and then you are playing the tournament. Uh -huh. So that is the one, good thing. One of the good yeah. things. So, mm. so for you, specifically, that you, you were having that mission of really go to the streets, bring these unknown talents, just bring them. Yeah. Uh, do you also feel bored? <laughs> oh, you're so okay. <laughs> Let's take it like that in our strides and go. Do yeah. you really feel bored? Do well, you feel that talent, by this time, we could have harnessed more to really probably become the next big... Yes, uh, yes, yes, definitely. You know, like I was saying earlier, um, we the the talent that we got from Jamestown, mm. which were which was some very promising talent, mm. we actually were preparing them for the next phase for phase two. Okay. You know, yeah, and we also had something in Osu coming up. You know, like to take the street chairs there. Yes. So there have been some hindrances because we've not been able to go out there into the streets to get all these guys involved, you know, all these children. So, so Joe, well, yes. for instance, when you started and you looked at the numbers, yes, and then at the end of the day, you seed them. Yeah. Did you see enough talent on the street? Definitely. You will be and amazed. And when, when we, let's say, we're counting, can we get like 10 and 20? Definitely. It, it, for, in Jamestown, we had about, about 40 children. 
about 40 children coming to learn that you just introduced the game to yes. them and they grabbed it yes and they grabbed it wow and You're they grabbed it. children yes children from all categories you know from all from different so it's actually a very beautiful thing to see because children from different walks of life and you know chess is seen as a king's game sort of but then you have these children also showing their worth showing that you know if we learn this thing we can actually be this some you know some of these guys out there so it was it was it was very very good it was very positive and very and and, and um from the community's uh, perspective those that worked and then saw yes. i saw some people standing some elderly yes. people just yes. observing from afar yes what what message do you get from them that uh, this street thing has been long overdue or well it is it is good to see at this time what, what message do you get from them okay most of them you know in actual fact when we started chess is relatively new in those communities it's not something they are they are aware of you know yeah so when we started they took an interest in it you know wanted to know what was happening and then they saw the the translation because the skills that the children were acquiring in chess they were actually for example let me just give you an example um there was a discipline skill so where we have the the chess playing the chess games going on the children had to learn discipline mm. that when they came there they had to go through some processes as in um pick you know the letter around put the place in order yes and they really appreciated that because it's like most of them didn't have these skills proud to that so it's like they they they, they, they saw the literal translation the the actual benefit of of what was going on so uh looking at what is happening now uh I, I know you, you, you aren't a prophet. Yes, yes. So uh, neither will you say you are a rocket scientist to go <laughs> and then do your mathematics and say, okay, COVID yeah. will go today or tomorrow. Yes. In the meantime, yes. what are some of the plans you have in place that should COVID end today okay. or tomorrow? Okay. These are the things you do to, to really close the gap okay. on the days that we've lost here and there. Okay. Um, let me let me touch on what we're actually doing right now okay then i'll then i'll okay. bring that in okay. yeah so we had the the no street chess challenge we no done, street yes chess okay. challenge and that's all about what is is you know we are street chess mm -hmm. but then the the play was we are not in the streets okay we are not like physically in the streets anymore but then we are still street chess and we had an online tournament so we just named it no street chess challenge okay Yes, and that invited um, even our president was. was he participated. He participated. <laughs> 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 okay. He actually did very well. He actually plays. He was he was in the top three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so wow. it was it was actually a, a a very big tournament. It was actually a very big tournament. We had all the guys, you know, participate. We had people from Ho, people from Kumase. Yes. The only challenge was we were not able to get the the core of our people, that's the people in Jamestown, to engage for obvious reasons. I mean, access to some of these um, gadgets, gadgets, some of these yes devices. So that was the main challenge. So looking into that, um, it's 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 something we may want to look at okay. post COVID era, okay. how to get some of these guys online. You know how to introduce them. To, to 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 these platforms so that they can actually also benefit from, from it. yes from, okay. from these so, so um, i know you guys are full of uh, ideas you always do magic may i call it magic <laughs> because uh, when they're going get stuff for instance um, i've seen so many disciplines and association heads always complain we are not getting any uh, support uh, funding here and there and so we can organize our basic events but chess every day organizes Major events. Every day go closer to students, get to the schools, do, do so many things in your, your small corner, I, could, I put mm -hmm. it that way. What are you guys having now? So should COVID end now? Ghana Chess, what are you doing to continue with your developmental project? Okay, so um, like you said, we are not rocket scientists or prophets <laughs> to tell when this COVID mm -hmm. will end. Although the president has asked us to, you know, resume normal life, we still see cases going up. So 
we have to be prudent mm. about how we do our things. Uh, so basically, I've been having discussion with my team members about um, continuing the, the season two of the Test League online. Now you, you're going online. You, you, for I'm the meantime, scared of the, the, the uh, quote-unquote cheating that might or support that exactly, some people get to. Exactly. So we, there are softwares. Okay. And there are platforms that have anti-cheating mechanisms. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So, for example, two days after a tournament, they can report that this person cheated or that person cheated. And usually, they cheat with machines or let me say um, computers because uh, we, there's something we call a chess engine, a thinking machine, which can be installed in a laptop, you know, and it will produce or to generate moves for you to be playing. Wow. Good. Now, the, all those machines have been, you know, they've been studied and they have their databases and stuff. So they will know if this machine is giving you input. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, because the machine's So you have some checks and balances. Exactly. Somewhere. We have some checks and balances. But that notwithstanding, the whole idea is that we are going to play the league with many clubs all over, and then we'll do a top eight mm. that will have to come and play over the board to eliminate any form of, you know, doubt, you know, that are there. <laughs> so the top eight performance, provided we've not received any reports about cheating, etc. The top eight will come to justify over the board for like a finals of the league. Uh, wow. That is what we are looking at. But we are still, you know, restraining a bit, you know, and observing how things are going. Then we know how how to go about it. But 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 you still uh, uh, hopeful like some of us are that uh, this thing shall pass. This COVID thing shall pass. Yes, so that this we come back to normal. Shall pass. Because 2020 looked <laughs> looked very very promising. Very promising. Yeah. So this thing came yeah, bam yeah. and collapsed everything. Mm. I'm very positive, especially given the trend in Africa, given our climate and I mean how we started all these social distances earlier before, you know, earlier than where, what the mm. Europeans and the Americans Great. did. They underestimated it. At least we learned from, from their mistakes. So we are more cautious, you know. So I'm hoping, you know, by the, by the grace of God, the thing will, will come down and it will also pass. So just whisper to um, Ghanaians. So Ghana Chess, who are your, your partners? Who really support you? Because you see, you travel for tournaments mm. here and there. I don't see, I, I'm not saying you should go and do it. That's not what I'm trying to imply. Mm. <laughs> but I have seen uh, associations and uh, events come to a standstill because uh, they were expecting some funding and support yeah. from here and here. Mm. But yes, how do you do it? Are you that failed team rich? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to be clear, we are not rich. <laughs> and also, Chess, the reason why chess was suffering or is still managing is that, you know, we were not reaching out enough. You weren't reaching out enough. Okay. I'm saying the gen in general. Okay. Okay. The clubs were not active. You know, I mean, we didn't have more hands, you know, trying to develop the game. You know, but since I took over, I'm very glad that we have a lot of initiatives that are, you know, complementing what we are also doing. Just like he's doing, he's trying to promote chess on the street. You know, he's still promoting chess. You know, for example, Dream Fort Chess Club is also starting um, a, a TV show on uh, on chess on ev every Sunday. So it's it's actually helping. You know, we have a lot of people trying to come in. And um, the last time we hosted the Africa Juniors, we we had a good number of uh, companies coming to, to sponsor, you know. So it's just an indication that the more active you are, the more you can get or mm -hmm. attract people to come and support, mm -hmm. you know. And that has been my, my mantra. You know, when I, when I was also coming in, I was like, we should make a move. We, we always have to make a move. You don't have to wait for people. You don't have to wait for heaven to drop mana. You have to still make a move, you know, even if it means 
going to the school to teach children. You are, you are spreading the game. You understand? Those games will go into the, the, the homes. They will spread it. And then the family, friends, and then like that, it's growing. And once chess becomes popular, you, you suffer with sponsors. <laughs> 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 we, we're checking out from the studio. Thanks very much, gentlemen. But uh, uh, just uh, closing remarks from you as the president of Ghana Chess and then you, the director of Street Chess. What, what are you telling Ghanaians about this sport and uh, the future it holds in this country? Yeah, I think um, it's, it's high time we, we started looking at chess. Okay. You know, I mean, I know the traditional sports, you will not count chess. But when we look at the global situation, chess is actually a world heritage. You know, it's, it's a heritage for the Arabs, heritage for the Europeans, heritage for the Chinese, heritage for the Indians, heritage for the Americans. You understand? Even at, at the point in the Cold War, they were saying they had to settle the, 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 the fight between Russia mm. and America mm. with a chess match. You understand? So there's a lot of, you know, impact that the game has. You understand? Uh -huh. So hopefully, once it spreads in Ghana, we'll get more attention and stakeholders should actually look at it. The education side is helping. The sports side as well, it's helping. So we should, we should look at it as, like, it's a mind sport. Mm. It's a mind, the mind is also a muscle. That, mm. that must be developed. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so develop your mindset. 30 <laughs> seconds, we leave okay. it from the okay. studio. Um, chess, chess is a game that has more potential. Mm. Yeah, we actually, it's, it's something we've always known, but we, we, we saw physical evidence in the streets. Mm. So it's, it's, it's an area that excites us, yes. But unfortunately, there hasn't been much backing, much pushing. So far, it's, it's, we've, it's internally generated funds that we've been using to run it from, you know, guys like the founder. observation of the preventive etiquette. Remember we have mentioned that there are about two or three, actually three lines of protection, three layers of protection that we have. The very first one is the closure of our borders to